Hey folks, how you doing? Papa Joe here. We uh doing a little cooking. That wasn't much cooking right there. That's a banana, 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 banana pudding. And this fiction go in the ice box, so I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. We are uh gonna share what we're making for supper. There's green beans. They've uh they didn't have any fresh. I prefer fresh. They done been washed, trimmed, and, and ready to eat. Or cook, whatever. There's some small baby potatoes. And right there, a little bit of bacon. I'm going to put some bacon ends in it. We have uh, another project. We'll use the rest of the bacon. So, uh, green beans, taters, and bacon going in that pot that's actually uh, my wife grew up with her mama cooking pinto beans in that pot that's all her mama ever cooked in it I cook other stuff in it that's a pinto bean pot there's a lid to it that's just a Texas thing alright I'm going to put you on pause and get this part going alright folks we have the green beans and taters and bacon boiling or getting ready to boil they're on to the cook uh now of course you seen where i read on the green beans that they was uh supposed to be ready some of them green beans did not have the ends off of them that's why i like to just get my stuff fresh but they didn't have any fresh i guess mama just ran off and left me so let me set you down and open up some seasonings. Push that. Now you're recording. Alright folks, we got the green beans and taters going. Uh, this is 8 pound pork loin. Putting some black pepper on it. This is going to have to cook a minimum of 2 hours according to the cooking directions. So. And something me and mom always have issues with is trying to pick out our seasonings. We don't know our seasonings that well, so it's always a debate. Just some magic seasoning salt. Now, I don't normally do salt, so it's real easy for me to get too much salt. Normally, I'll do an Italian, or a Italian, a non-iodized salt but minced garlic you speak you shaking your head and camera's dropping oh that smells good i like garlic <laughs> mama's giving me the eyeball minced onion When the camera starts shaking, you know she told me that was enough. I, I just remember one other incident with garlic meat. Mm -hmm. And we're going to put a taste of fajita on there. Fajita seasoning. Well, maybe. It ain't shaking out worth it. Has this one been open? No, it has not. Let me see if we got an open one. I thought I'd seen two in here. Or no one, but that looks pretty cool. It might not have been open yet either. Nope, I didn't either. I must have found these on sale somewhere. I'm notorious for that. Then we end up with a whole bunch. Oh, come on. Uh, 
Now the direction set on this, 15 to 20 minutes per pound. At 15 minutes a pound, that's two hours. All right, there we go. Now you want to roll it, Mama, or you want me to? Go ahead. I was hoping you said uh, you did. And if you'll notice, when I make this roll, she has another one underneath it. We double wrap it. Do we want to roll it down? Now she's the expert at this. She got where she was would do me hamburgers and chicken breast and all that stuff. Back when I had the Burton stove in the truck and uh, she would cook me up stuff. We would freeze it after it was wrapped and I would take it out in my truck and cook it in the Burton stove. You roll it. Okay. Now we turn it over just so that you don't have those. Alright, this was the fat side and it said the fat side up, right? Okay. We've never cooked one of this size before. Neither one of us. So we actually read the directions, or she did. I'm not real good on reading directions. I'm even worse on following them. Ask her. Now we're just going to repeat what we did a while ago. down and roll this in again. Now remember when you take this out in a little while, the rest is going to steam cook in itself. And I didn't get this in to roll very good, so we're going to have to be really careful there. Now actually we didn't have the pan of the right size. So what we're going to wind up doing is putting it in this one and getting it to, that is not the most ideal way, but you deal with it. Now you can hit them two lines. Alright, we changed it up a little bit. We had this pan. The wife came up with one where the meat ain't so bent up. Gonna put it in that pan. We're gonna cook it at 375 for like two hours and then we'll check it. I'll probably set it for an hour and then I'll flip it and cook it another hour. Green beans and taters and bacon's cooking right along. Alright folks, we'll be back. Alright folks, I just tried the green beans and taters, they're done. We still got 31 minutes before our first hour is up. Well, green beans and taters got done way early. <coughs> but that's all right. I can make a meal out of green beans and taters anyway. I love them. Uh, 
I'm going to get out some of that banana, 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 banana pudding and have some pudding. All right, we'll be back. Hot, 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 hot. All right, folks, how's it going? We just pulled this out of the oven. Well, 15 minutes ago, we let it rest. Look at all that juice. Let's look at it all. It's a lot bigger than, uh, yeah, look at that. Can you see that? Zoom in on that. Look at all that juice down there. We're doing good. Now a bunch of that's going to get sliced up to go out on the road with me and to stay home with mama. There's all that seasoning we had. Oh, we're looking good. We'll be back with y'all in a minute. Now oh, damn it. Joe have to combine the two together. And yes, I'm slicing it thicker than you would for sandwiches. This ain't for sandwiches. Let's go right here in the house, right here tonight. And that's what you end up with. All right, hit the pause. All right, there it is, folks. That's our dinner for tonight. Alright, remember, God loves you and so do we. Y'all have a blessed evening now. Good night.